So do you believe me now? Look at this. The walls, look at how tall they are. They're like three stories high, four stories down there, but it's, it's a huge building. And this is a production facility of, of elements earth ramped, like a large production. Like this hole, it can produce, I don't know how long this is, 40 meters long elements. This is fucking insane. It's crazy. Where's Professor Martin? I think he's over there. <laughs> so this is the factory, Professor Martin. Exactly. This is insane. This is a real factory. You're not, you're not just a nerdy uh, academic somewhere. This is like you produce stuff. <laughs> exactly. It's actually um, a little bit maniac, but somehow we are doing, producing more cups here. We are producing bigger projects, smaller projects. We're trying out a lot of stuff and it's really between research and production, so to mm. say. So you produce these walls over here? Exactly. These walls have been rammed here before there was a roof. So we started actually with this wall. Which and one? Which one? This one? Yeah, this one. This entire wall. And it's, it's all excavation material from on site. So... Um, um, mean, meaning that you, the thing you dug, is this a, a concrete floor? That's a concrete floor. Okay. And, and then and you dug out a lot of stuff? E exactly. And, uh, and that stuff, we, we didn't uh, dump it anywhere. We actually used it right away for yeah. our building material. Yeah. So, so how does... I need to know... Oh, sorry for my language. How the fuck does this work? <laughs> okay. I think the best um, to show you is probably from this side. Okay, so yeah, if you follow go. me. Let's go. So actually here you, you see the formwork. Um, we is this the form here? That's the, that's the fixed formwork, this one. And this is the removal um, uh, one. And we can remove this up to 80 centimeters. And what ah. we can do here is um, build different um, sizes of walls. So the smallest size, what we can do is 7 centimeters and the thickest is 80. Centimeters. So this, this is kind of a, a, a modular and expanding mold, you can say, where you can just throw dirt in and then start pounding it together. Exactly. But, and, uh, but do, you, do you do it like, but no, not by, yeah, stupid. No. It's not by hand, right? Not by hand. The Roberta is standing back there. Roberta. Roberta. Yeah, for sure. Is that's, it a woman or is it? It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a woman. Um, um, Who's uh, quite an old lady. She has yeah. she uh, done a lot of work already. Um, Martin has developed uh, her together with um, machine engineers. He's and, God. And, yeah. He's kind of God. He's a professor. He's, pr he's <laughs> professor God. He's a mad professor. And, um, and yeah, Roberta is driving up and down, putting layer by layer to ram, uh, to ram and, um, but, but, and but then you can cut the, the elements, uh, dry them, and then they go on the construction site. There was actually, you can, you can almost check this out. So when you look at the wall, you can almost see where the partitions were cut. Now, this wall was built in situ, so you can, oh, also, you can also build the formwork in situ on site and then uh, ram up all the way and then take away the formwork and, and the then, wall is but there. But then those lines, it looks like there's these joints in it still. It's true, it does look like also, that's, from, that's from the formwork. And here you're right, um, here this is prefabricated rammed earth elements and then you kind of see the joints. Yeah. that have been retouched. Everybody can see the joints there. No, but I think the in situ, the in situ discussion is really important because, you know, on the building that we follow, Tre in Aarhus, where Anders is building, mm -hmm. the inner core is uh, concrete with in situ, you know, what's called uh, molding up, right? And you can do that the same way. But still, I need to understand, <laughs> you know, Professor Martin, how does it actually work? Do you put what dirt down there and then what? Exactly. So what, is, what does this machine do? Do. Okay, let's go down there. And how the hell did the other professor build this machine? <laughs> you actually have the um, the basic material that's rammed earth. It's seventy percent rocks, thirty percent clay, mm -hmm. and um, it has to be kind of humid. Um, and if it has the right kind of um, um, hydration, mm -hmm. um, you can just put it into the formwork, professor. and it will be it will be kind of compressed. And, yeah. and then I'll catch him. <laughs> just, just put him a I'll little catch, away. From I'll catch the professor. We can't, we, there's only two of them in the world. Very ecological uh, gangster situation where you're getting rammed into your own wall. Exactly, you know, and, right? and, and so layer by layer, um, the wall kind of grows. 
and uh, this one time compression from about 15 centimeters mm -hmm. to about 9 centimeters um, that's the only kind of energy that goes into the wall okay. uh, into the material and after um, after it dries it's kind of really but, hard like so, a rock but so so you don't you put you put, put all the material in at the same time and then no, 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 no. or it's like one only layer and then one layer 15 centimeters oh, 15 centimeters yeah. I would and then the cups I would, go I would exactly. suggest let's couldn't we go I can see yeah, yeah, there's yeah, a mock-up yeah, there yeah. that one shows it a lot yeah. right let's go down let's there. Go there let's do that yeah. before we go down there yeah. Yeah. I just want to say like look at that beautiful detail like which, which one of them yep yeah. but just it's kind of like a patchwork of art but it's historical materials right yeah. so you have straw which yeah. is also something you have in all the old Danish uh, buildings, like in uh, uh, f f old farms and in yeah. the walls of old uh, buildings in the middle of a city. It's just totally gone and insulating and you can put mud on it and then it becomes a wall. And just the, this whole collaboration or, or collage of sustainable material is just extremely but beautiful. I'm mostly you know, just blown away by the, the sustainability aspect of it. That this is like, you can build nearly every fucking thing out of this that we need, in, I guess, except tunnels and bridges. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's radical. If you look at it um, and if you see that every material kind of is playing its best um, mm. role. Yeah. And, and um, yeah, for example, reed, you know, it's growing between water and air. Yeah. And that's exactly where building physics mm. are happening, mm. between mm. water and air. Yeah. And also interesting, if you look at the combination of the timber and the wood, I mean, mm -hmm. we have so many thousands of historical buildings, yeah. Yeah. Fachwerk Bauten, yeah. um, out of timber and wood. And for example, interesting is that the clay is so much more dry than the wood that it takes out the humidity out of the wood. Mm. So the, the warm, the wood warm has no chance to survive. That's one reason oh, why sure. these buildings are still so well conserved. So, so there's no fungus in it. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, that's that's you know. But then, but then, so the so the thing is like, <clears throat> for instance, like the if we should modernize kind of the the wood frame that we have from historical buildings, where you would actually have clay in between. Exactly. So kind of the next level of a building element that could then maybe also take shear and different like not only compression, which this does well. Yes. Then what do we do? Well, actually, that's, um, that's really the thing that we are just um, looking at. Um, we are mostly interested in trying to jump on the um, development of the wood industry because mm. they are already so far, you know, yeah. in uh, producing economic elements mm. and systems that work, all the connections and so yeah. on. Yeah. And um, we are trying really to get into... Um, for making a, exactly this... An update know. for the Fuck yeah. Workhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then the, the you know, but this one it's I suppose this is not a, this is kind of you've done the elements in in earth ramp and yeah. then you have the the glue lamp structure so exactly. they're like two separate yeah, structures, yeah, yeah. but but what is the difference between the two, like for you, does it make sense to like if you have a structure, does you do you in situ or do you build in blocks or do you come with an element that's finished like these three yeah. types of. I think that's really um, where the architects come in because it's a topic that's really relying on the project. On the project, yeah. um, so I think we need, you know, a variation of uh, possibilities. And I think the next big step is really to make it efficient mm. to combine a wood element mm. with uh, renders. And I want to show you one of them. Oh, wow. where? Where? <laughs> Down here. Check it out. <laughs> Together with oh. Herzog Dömerow, CPF engineers, um, um, Blumer Lehmann uh, and us, we, we developed this um, timber and uh, earth slab for um, one of the most sustainable um, office buildings in Switzerland. And um, it's just in the building process. And what you see here is, is actually really a slab mm -hmm. out of timber and mm -hmm. earth. And the, the amazing thing is that, again, um, the, the clay in the slab helps the elements to survive all the yeah. fire um, yeah. protection. And of course, we have a lot of thermal mass in the wood building. So that's really important to have cool summers and, and stabilized um, mm. winters. Mm. Mm. And uh, of course, the whole aspect of um, climate, uh, like uh, room climate, mm. you know, for the humidity, um, you have a really stable um, humidity of 50 to 55 percent 
and mm -hmm. that's actually what you really want. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And this, yeah, okay. The, the, now you are talking about like the indoor environment climate, right? Also for that it's healthier than normal buildings. Do you, how do you measure these things? Have you made like uh, data on the different buildings? Because we, here it feels like really nice to be. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the best indoor environment factory I've been to. Yeah. <laughs> the same with the buildings we've just been to, something it's really nice. But have you tried to measure these things? Do you have data on what's in the air and how does it Definitely, work? I mean, in, in it's of course a process, but uh, we're working together with other companies that do a lot of statistics and analysis and uh, measures and we are trying to really to bring it to kind of certified project uh, products mm -hmm. and to to also be able to you know not only say it's nice mm. um, but to prove it with numbers mm. and this one can run this one Professor Martin, this can run on sustainable energy, right? It runs on uh, electricity, not It, it, not it runs on electricity, and the electricity is won by the, the river uh, power plant just next door. Jesus. So, yeah. Yeah, so here you see kind of a um, uh, oh, timber the, slab the, used uh, like a wall, so definitely it's... it's um, it's also possible to use the combination of timber and clay in a wall system. Um, there again, it's interesting to have um, to be faster than just you know uh, laying bricks inside yeah. the timber, and also to be cheaper using the um, excavation material because bricks um, they consist m mainly out of pure clay. Mm -hmm. So here we have a, a wider spectrum of the material, the raw material we can use. And um, and actually, the very fascinating thing is also that we could um, put in pipes into the rammed earth, mm -hmm. so you could actually activate it with heating or cooling. Mm -hmm. And for cooling, especially, the condensation is a topic. You know that normally, if you cool something, yeah. if you cool a radiator, you have immediately condensation. Mm -hmm. And um, and if the the clay can work with this condensate and breathe it actually into the into the room. So that's um, an interesting field that we're working on. But what we're looking at here is that a th is this a facade, uh, you know, element where you can just take these, put them side by side, and then build a house out of them? Yeah, that's actually a mock-up of a um, wall that's supposed to be seven meters high, and in it's one for, element. Uh, in one element, it's for school in Basel. Um, what? A mock-up and and, yeah. and what is in here? This is like a in here it's supposed to uh, be then an, an, an insulation, but I have to say that this is a very specific wall um, for a very specific use. Um, so the, the thickness of the wall, that's the thickness of the wall that we see here. So it's like over a, almost a meter thick. Yes, but um, again, I have to say that this is um, one room that is almost, yeah, in the end it's going to be nine meters high and, mm -hmm. and we have um, actually a facade um, from, the out, from the outside visible that um, yeah, could also be only a, a wood facade if, mm. if you want, but mm. here, here uh, the project is so specific that okay. it's, it became And actually somebody wall. could live inside wow. the wall. You would like to live inside no, the wall? No, no, I'm not saying I could live here, but you know, you could. tiny people could live here. But I have to ask, like, if, if this what we, we just talked about down there, that we would do these wood elements, and then either, you know, either you have, like, on the outside, like, this is the facade element, like, that's one big chunk of earth ramp material, so you could build with that. Then, if you need to go up high, and you need to have some structure in there as well. Then this is what you talked about, that you then use the wood structural mm -hmm. together with the earth ramped pieces. Would you then, if you would, like in our project that we're doing in Copenhagen, mm -hmm. that's why we're here, we want to build nine stories high mm -hmm. where the core is earth ramped, mm -hmm. and we have both using the wood for fire protection, but because it's it's nine stories high. You also need to have kind of the structure mm -hmm. and the load going through the the, 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 the wood beams. Mm -hmm. So what would you suggest? What would be the, the best way possible? Would that be? I mean, if you look um, on this wall behind me, where um, the engineers in the first calculation thought this could be actually a plate out of... Like where it's uh, like a... Yeah, like where a... it's crossed. Uh, it could be a plate out of wood. 
um, uh, we, we kind of wanted to change it to become more translucent and more light into the space. And actually, if you look back to the historic buildings, um, we know that wood is really precious building material. And uh, as you said, if you, if you use it in a structural way, then we need to think about how can we protect the wood and what, with what can we fill it. We need a very simple material to fill it and to also bring mm. thermal mass inside. So the best um, available material for things like that is something that can breathe, mm -hmm. something that uh, takes the humidity from the wood and we are we invented it new it's called earth <laughs> um, it's so called if earth. you want it's to a very join good invention <laughs> now you know he's a real professor right <laughs> invented god, earth. god invented earth and then professor uh, martin come and said yeah we invented this no but that's that's uh, that's the amazing thing that um, it's already there it's under our feet we just yeah. have to take it and and it's really about to find the best solution um, how to bring these two materials together and uh, I really believe it's uh, amazing to have a core that is massive, you know, yeah. solid. Yeah. And everything where what the, what the earth cannot do, mm -hmm. wood can do. So yeah. all yeah. tension forces could yeah. be done by the precious material of timber. Uh -huh. And the rest, the fill up, the, the loads um, and so on, the, the fire protection, yeah. the thermal mass, the heating, the cooling. I really, really okay. hope that every house Perfect. in the world is being built like this. I mean it seriously. It was not a joke. We were there. Martin. We were 100, 100 years ago. Uh, two thirds of the houses worldwide were Earth well, houses. And then some stupid <laughs> assholes from Denmark came and invented, invented concrete again. The brick. The brick. Asshole bricks. This is like, this is a no-brainer. This is a no-brainer. Okay, I know what this is. What is this it? This is... What is it? Just a minute. This is uh, uh, from the tree uh, industry. Cut wood, off wood chips. chips. Wood, wood chips. chips. Wood chips. Yeah. So it's wood chips. And then it's... Um, the connoisseur of uh, it's building earth, material. Earth, it's earth mixed with wood chips. And then a little lime in there. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the fruit. <laughs> no. It's no, uh, it's only, yeah, you're almost there. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's it's very good. Yeah. What is it, Professor Martin? <laughs> no, wood chips and just clay. So very it's, wet it's clay. So for mud. Close. mud yeah. I was so that was, close. That was good. I and actually have said lime and I meant lime juice. It's pretty so much the cheapest fiber that you can get, wood chips and, um, and, and the, the clay sauce um, mm. out of rivers. Yeah. Um, or from washing, washing uh, gravel. But um, it's, it's, but not, it's, it's also stable, right? It's something that insulates like a exactly. wall. It's like a wall exactly. element. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah. the point here is that then because it's not stone, it's clay, or sorry, it's wood chips, it changed to be a thermal product. So it's insulation all of a sudden. Ah, exactly. It's really, really interesting. And um, yeah. yeah there's kind of, I mean, with the um, amount of wood you put into the mix you kind of con can control the, um, the insulation yeah. value yeah. because in the wood there is air and and the air is the insulator so to but say but doesn't it get moldy inside or you know that's the good part about clay it really can work really well with um, communicating humidity so ah. um, that's actually why you get a lot of mold on plastic or acrylic paints for example because mm. The, so the humidity keeps just ah, keeps, yeah, keeps on the, the surface, on the surface yeah. like a raincoat and, um, and the clay just takes the humidity, communicates it inside and, and, and again to the air. The, yeah. thing is, the crazy thing is that when we decided, someone decided in the Danish building legislation yeah. that we needed to have a dump spare, yeah. so it's a plastic bag, yeah. so it keeps humidity from it's going so into the structure. Yeah. You, abandon all of these yeah. materials because yeah. then you are inviting fungus into your yeah. building immediately. So it's so stupid and it's by law that we have to we do should, that. We should change the law. Yeah. No, just imagine the difference wearing a raincoat and going uh, jogging yeah. or a linen. And going, going to the beach, <laughs> going to the beach. just relaxing <laughs> in your raincoat. Ah, Martin oh, is there here. Comes. Well, perfect perfect Martin. timing. Wow, that's a very <laughs> fancy oh, bike. Nice. Good. Professor Martin, everything is so beautiful. Your house is beautiful. Yeah. All this is beautiful. I fucking love this. And I think every building in the world should be built with this technique. That's right. You're right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 So.
Then we do this, then we, is, we do the hand yeah, thing. It is, it is the most important issue in building system. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>